Okay, welcome back. Um, this is the sort of wrap-up side of things. Right, the first thing we need to do is select our model and go into our channels at the side and just name this gun and hit return. Now we're also going to clear our history on the model. So again, select the model, go to edit and delete by type history. This will get rid of any extra nodes. Now this is um, uh, cleaning the model up, ready for output um, into, so that you can uh, send the object out to be put into a game. Because this is a low poly model, it's not a high res model for things like um, animating for film work and things like that. This is a low count poly gun um, for a game, game based game based image, game development. And the next gun we do will also be um, a low count, as low poly count as we can get, um, so that that will also be able to be put into a game. Now if you want, you can um, put more detail into the gun so that it is actual um, a high res gun for animating. Um, it's up to you, it's just, uh, you just add more, more polygons or we can subdivide at the end to make it a uh, a more detailed model. Right, okay, so that's that done there. Also, make sure that in your layers down here that you haven't got any layers, so right hand click and delete the layer. Um, also go to display, windows, sorry, and go to hyper, hypergraph hierarchy tongue twister and make sure that the only node you've got in there is gun you haven't got any extra bits and pieces this is all okay we've got gun shape there which obviously relates to the gun there so we're all okay um, and now that's done I want to go into display um, outliner just checking my outliner again that there is just the gun in there. Now the last thing I'm going to do is go into the hyper shade and go to Windows Rendering Editor Hyper Shade. And I want you all apart from the Blin 1 shader to select across these and press delete. That will get rid of any of the other, the non-default ones, uh, non-default shaders, which we don't want to output. Now where you've got Blin, with the shade that you've got at the moment, we're going to rename that, and we can do that in here and call it Gun Texture. Hit return on that. And there you see it's gone into gun texture within there. So you're only outputting the one texture. Now also I want you to go into your folder. So I want you to open your Maya folder up. Where your project is kept. And just make sure that inside that project that you've got. Inside the source images folder. That the only ones that remain are the ones that you've used in the model. So I want you to create a new folder in there and call it Originals. And inside there I want you to put all of the all of the ones that you haven't used so that you should only be left with color map and normal map. Now I created a spec, a color spec map of this, which we'll be doing in the next lesson, but you I won't have that. So you should only have in there color map and normal map, and that's it. And then close that off. And now finally, I want you to save the scene, and then I want you to select the object, and then export the selection out as an OBJ file. So 
come down here to OBJ. By the way, if you haven't got OBJ, um, might not be in your things, I'll just show you where the plugin is to make sure it's turned on. And put that in your scenes folder and call it gun model underscore final and export that out. So that has just exported the object out with the corresponding texture maps. And now just to make sure that you could go into that make sure that you did have the OBJ. Go into Plugins Manager. That's Window, Settings, Plugins Manager. And just make sure that your OBJ export, this one, objexport.mll, is loaded and auto-loaded. So check both of those, then close it, and then that option will be available to export it as an OBJ file. Um, that's it. That wraps this lesson up. So now you've exported a nice clean mesh out as a, as a separate object. You've got your two texture layers that you created using the techniques um, and that is it. Now I rendered this out um, earlier and here it is. So that's our gun. I just all I did was did a rotation. I rendered all the frames out, took it into flash and loaded it up in there. Um, to give me my model and that's basically our model finished quite nice textures there you see I've actually put a specularity map on it and you can see slight different texture tones but we'll get into that in the next lesson where we'll be doing a detailed gun and that's about it for this lesson so we've learned quite a lot over over the lesson you've uh, laid out your UVs you've used a cylinder polygon cylinder and you've created the entire gun from that. You've extruded sections and you've textured it and you've created a normal map using the NVIDIA filter. And finally, you've cleaned up your mesh ready for output um, to a game developer's spec. And it's a low poly count model. So that's good. Right, the next lesson, project two, will be getting a lot more involved and I look forward to taking you through the next lesson. Hope you've enjoyed this course and see you in the next lesson.